Hey my loves, this is Gabrielle Desjois and you are joining us today for an Organize With Me. So I have done a lot of organizing, a lot of cleaning, a lot of folding, a lot of washing and prepping for this baby girl to arrive. We are going to go through my baby girl's dresser, her closet, and different nursing and kind of diaper stations that I have set up basically to make life easier postpartum as easy as possible with a newborn. <laughs> We're gonna do a little more of a vlog style so I can show you the different spaces and kind of setups that I have prepared for her. I am currently in the shared nursery and master bedroom. We are keeping her very close for the first probably six to nine months, honestly. And so that'll probably be another video coming soon where I will actually show you the full room and the full setup. But today we're gonna talk about organization. We are so close. I am 36 weeks and five days today. So by the time that you're seeing this, we will be in our 37th week and baby girl could pretty much come at any time. So I am super excited for her to join us Earthside and to be here with us. Um, but I'm, I'm also really happy that I have most things set up for her um, and most things set up for me and her dad so that we can kind of ease on into this transition. So stay tuned and let's get into some baby organization. <laughs> so this is a corner of our master bedroom. I have my glider chair here. We have her baby animal portraits up here. And this is the first station that I want to talk about and show you guys. I got this cart from Michaels, but you can find them at Target, Michaels, Ikea. Yep, Ikea also has an organizer like this. So it's just a rolling cart. And I figure that this will be very helpful because it can go in and out of this room into the loft area that we have upstairs as well. So... In here, I have one swaddle. I have two of these muslin white burp cloths. And then I have two just other burp cloths because I'm extra like that. I have our handheld sound machine. I freaking love this thing. Already have tried it out. I love it. I have a washcloth just in case there's another type of mess. Have a onesie in here for her. This is actually a gown, a sleeping gown, size zero to three months. So in case we have a blow up over here or something happens, I don't have to necessarily get up and go too far. I can just change her right here. I also have an extra pair of socks just in case. This is one of the changing pads that you may have seen on the um, getting free baby stuff video that I did and so I have a changing pad here even though we're in the master bedroom where we do have a changing station I just wanted to have that then I have a wet wipes right here I have a basket with hand sanitizer organic all-purpose balm so if we need lotion if we need um, booty butt paste whatever um, this can suffice for that and then this is the um, Hakka, but it's not the Hakka. This one is the Lansno version of the Hakka that I have up here. So this is also my nursing station. In here, I also have vitamin D drops for baby because we are breastfeeding or hope to be. And so vitamin D does not travel quite as well in breast milk, which is why I have that. I have nipple balm. This is um, was a gift. This is the Lansno Organic Nipple Balm. This is my puppy who is <laughs> all up in my space. And then I have my After Ease Pregnancy Drops. I will go into this in my video for postpartum care, but I have these in here because I figure I will take them or remember to take them if they are close by. So that's all I have in that little section and then the second shelf I have a bunch of snacks so these are animal crackers there's some bars in here 
just different snacks for me to try out. I am not usually a snacker in these kind of things, but I wanted something that was obviously non-perishable and that would be easy at night for breastfeeding for us. This basket back here, this little organizer is full of just um, breast pads or nursing pads. And then I have water. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> this is this is what happens um, when you're this pregnant. I have two little books for her. These are the crinkle books. They are black and white and high contrast books for her. So we can just have some close something to entertain her. And then this is a small like kind of open pack of diapers. I have already. Hey, Huey. I've already put um, some diapers in like her diaper drawer and uh, in other spots around the house, but I just have these in here because I didn't feel like they need to be out and about. Okay. And on this last shelf here, um, I do have a baby blanket right now. I have like this nano baby sample pack back here and I have two packs of wipes. What I will also probably put on the shelf is going to be my breast pump. I'm sure that I will end up storing my breast pump somewhere either up here on the shelf or down here so that it is also close by. And then I kept this space empty so that I could just put my water if I have a water or a mug or what have you so that we stay hydrated. Okay, so this is a little caddy that I got quite a while ago actually from Amazon. And this is actually going to go downstairs. So this is going to have everything I need so I don't have to go upstairs and downstairs. I have nursing stuff in here, I have diapering stuff in here, have everything. So we have a swaddle two swaddles actually this little toy which i might put in the car basket i'm not sure this guy is actually something i got from amazon as well um it is a nursing cover and i will insert a picture up here so that you can see what that looks like um but that is a nursing cover so that if we do have guests hey lil if we do have guests then we then i can have an easy cover up other than just a simple swaddle so we have burp cloths i have two burp cloths in here and then i have two just washcloths in here just in case. I have some diapers in here. I also have a pack and play downstairs that has a caddy in the side of it. So I might, if I have some time in this video, show you all that. But I have some diapers in here. And then I also have a onesie. So I figure if we are in the house, I don't need a whole pair of pants. I don't need a whole outfit. But it'll be nice to have a onesie just if we have a blowout downstairs <laughs> for any reason. And speaking of blowouts, we have poo bags so these are actually from the pups um but baby girl is going to be stealing some of these and so that is because we only have a diaper pail upstairs in our bedroom and so let's move on to this section i have a diaper pad one of the pampers diaper pads i have a water wipes pack in here i have the shisher the baby shisher so i want one upstairs and one downstairs and so we'll see which one she likes and kind of go from there in terms of what we bring you know in the car or what have you and this is the haka this is um the actual haka with a lid suction cup base and so once again when i am nursing breastfeeding then that can go on this item not nursing on then in here I have nursing pads I have um, the another organic all-purpose balm I have a baby butt paste I have this is the one that I have been wanting to try the earth mama brand of organic nipple butter and I also have gripe water in here so I don't have gripe water in the nursing caddy, the first nursing caddy I showed you because I have it in one of her drawers up here. And then I have another book just so that we can look through some stuff if we get bored downstairs. We also have a lot of books upstairs and downstairs. And that's all that's in my 
downstairs um, caddy for her. So Huey is just, he just needs attention right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, so one thing I did forget in my other caddies, I will be adding um, a pacifier as well as a pacifier clip in both my nursing station as well as the caddy that goes downstairs. So this is actually going to be for the car. Hello, son. Hello. Hello. This is going to be for the car, so I'm not sure yet if I'm putting it in my car or if I'm putting it in my partner's car because I know that I'm going to have everything I need in our diaper bag, but I want an in-case <laughs> um, everywhere, basically. And so this might go in my partner's car because I know that I will probably stock up my car just anyways. And yeah, we'll see because I don't know how much we'll be going out without um, her dad anyways in the first couple you know, months or what have you. So we will probably hang close to home. But in our car bag, we have a, this is a changing pad. This is a very large changing pad. It came with a, um, it's actually a backpack that I got a while ago, but it's a diaper bag from a while ago. So have this, a nice sturdy changing pad. And then I have some puppy pads. Yes, these are actual puppy pads, but basically you can put them down and they'll just, you know, can put them over this, under this, whatever, and help to not make a mess. You can throw these away. They're disposable. So I just have three of these. Um, something that I might also do on her nightstand is have those just handy so that we aren't always changing, you know, um cloth diaper sh pads if she has like a big accident i have a pair of socks i have two onesies in here and i do plan on putting a pair of pants in here because i feel like if we're out and about and she does have a blowout or something pants would also be a good idea to have but she do does have two onesies in here just in case we have a wet ones I have a water wipes. I have an extra shirt for me. This shirt is for me um, in case I get messy in the car or what have you. Um, and then we have two burp cloths and a swaddle. And also I have diapers, obviously. In the side pocket, I have a baby book. This is an indestructible baby book, so basically it won't tear and won't rip. Babies can teeth on it, and it's going to be fine. Then we have a board book. I decided to just throw this in here. And then one more of those kind of little crinkly books that can be looped or hooked onto her car seat or whatever is safe to do. In here, I have a poo bags so that if we're on the road or what have you, then yeah, we can throw them in here instead of, you know, just having dirty poo diapers in the car. I have um, several of these nursing pads in here. I have a charger and a um, port to go actually in the wall, just in case it's a phone charger. I just wanna make sure we are never without a charged phone um, when I'm out and about with baby. I actually have two pads, like regular size pads for me. This is just looking ahead. I know in the first postpartum stage, I will be in probably diapers and a lot bigger pads than these, but looking ahead, I just wanna have something in case for mama. On this side, I have more nursing pads and I have an Honest Company diaper rash cream. So I also plan to put in here a pacifier, a pacifier um, kind of clip or case for the pacifier, as well as a, I wanna put a paper towel roll because you just never know in the car. <laughs> so that's what's gonna go in the um, empty space in here. This guy is gonna go in whichever car does not get that basket. 
this guy will go in opens up have some nursing pads in here it's not as stocked i do want to put like some type of butt cream or balm or something in here i have a water wipes and then in this little pocket i also behind the water wipes have two um two diapers just in case and this folds out into a pad a changing pad so this is actually inside my master closet and i have devoted this whole side to my baby stuff <laughs> so we have her baby robe up here <laughs> and then she has way too many little kind of coats and stuff but that's okay they're so cute anyways so baby clothes um this i do have organizers up there i think that says three months but i haven't really washed her three month clothing yet so three months i think this gets into six to nine months and so on but i haven't washed all those um this is her bow system and her hat system so we are not quite finished because i still have some clothes for her to wash but really love it this is from ikea <laughs> and I had my partner put this up um so cute and I'm so excited for all her little bows and so okay so here I have some stuff I have yet to wash because these are newborn size well a couple of these are newborn size and I just want to make sure that she fits into newborn size and so I'll wash those later this is a couple of stuff for her Christmas things also need to be washed I have this stuff is not as quite as organized so we'll kind of skip over that but this is a box I got her before she was even thought of or conceived it was for my future child and so now it's here holding some miscellaneous items have a little toy rattle so cute <laughs> and this is for bathtub it's actually a little rubber ducky that tells you if the water is hot or cool or just right anyways so we're gonna jump into her first drawer so this is where the organization actually starts i have socks little booties we have go umi booties um and then i have like one pair of mittens for her from go umi um oh these are the actually the mittens I did not get a lot of mittens because most of her little onesie, not onesies, most of her nighttime things have mittens in them and so do a lot of her long sleeve onesies. So this is newborn. These are newborn sleepers. These, this side is her zero to three month um, footy pajamas. These are her zero to three month gowns and so i have a decent amount of gowns here and then these are short sleeve zero to three month onesies these are zero to three month long sleeve onesies and then these are two little jumpers that she has these are her zero to three month um pants and joggers right here and then these are newborn clothing um all of these are like two-piece sets so I have a couple just organic sets um, as well as the ones that are going to the birthing center with us um, and so I have a couple stuff for her maybe she has about like one or two weeks of newborn clothes and then the rest is in here is zero to three months um, by the way this dresser is from Ikea, but I had my fiance put on the knobs. We got the knobs from Home Goods, so I had them, him put those on. <laughs> um, in here, we have onesies. These are um, footy, footy sleepers for three to six months. These are short sleeved, short sleeve onesies for zero to three months. And then these are actually zero to, or six to nine months. They're just like little, whatever you call these. <laughs> um, but I don't have all of her three to six month clothes washed yet. These are some booties I did go ahead and wash. And these are also three to six month booties. And then these are three to six month pants or um, leggings and 
joggers that go with outfits and then this um drawer right here is or this section right here is her um bibs so these are all bibs that i assume she will be wearing around the five month mark when she starts solid foods and then this is her last drawer so this is just kind of have the organizers in don't have them fully done um these are extra burp cloths all of these are washed and ready to go these are not washed items of clothes but these are like i think 12 months no these are three to six months so i just need to wash those <laughs> and these are 12 month onesies and a pack of another pack of 12 month onesies and that is her crib sheet i have washed that as well so i'm keeping that in here so yep yeah. This is her changing station. Um, just have a pack of socks here. I need to wash these. <laughs> um, this is our dresser though. And so up here I have just kind of some essentials for changing a diaper, um, baby butt paste, organic balm, hand sanitizer. And this is her wipes container. I just have not filled that with wipes up yet I figure why do that so soon have good night moon in here as well as another one of those little crinkle books and so in our dresser so this is like shared master and nursery room but we have her one drawer here that has a bunch of stuff for her um have diapers these are two different types of diapers I think one is bamboo and one is andy pandy um but they're all newborn size in here and then we have the nose frida <laughs> this is actually going to be in my postpartum video and it also belongs in my bathroom but it's just being kept in here for now it's an upside down peri bottle from frida mom as well have a pack or two of water wipes extra and then this is kind of her teether and pacifier area for now um i also have this like rattle thing in here but i need to wash all the pacifiers and then i'll put them you know in the different areas that they need to be in this is a forehead thermometer i have her body wash from waleda here also have a body nourishing body cream from waleda here as well another kind of I've seen that this could be really good for um, like a baby booty balm. So another kind of healing, all natural, sensitive baby ointment. Um, I also have Little Remedies Pain and Fever Reducer Medicine in here. And I think I might have shown you that I have that in one of the nursing caddies. So if we're downstairs, and I'm sure she won't need that. Hopefully, God willing, she won't need that until later in terms of teething or what have you, but we have them just in case. So I'll have one upstairs and one downstairs. Then this is a thermometer. This will probably be a rectal thermometer for her. Um, I'm really not excited to do that because I just, it worries me and scares me. So yeah, if I can put that off, I will. Um, saline spray and drops. Um, I think I showed you the nose Frida. And so that's just, I've heard a really good thing to have is the saline spray. It helps to kind of loosen everything up. We have the Baby Windy pack. Um, I got all these Frida Baby things in a Baby and Mom pack. So have the Windy just in case. These are filters for the nose Frida. And then I have Baby Clippers and Nail File. Have some of the little things from the medicines that we have for her. Have my other gripe water in here. And then I also have the, I think it's the Medi Frida is what this is. Frida Baby Medi or Medi Frida um, to give her medications if we need to do that. And then also in here, I have probiotic drops for her. We're just going to make sure that her gut microbiome is great. And so, yeah, this is going to be kind of a preventative measure just to make sure that she's good, healthy, and strong. And so 
that is my baby drawer. Our bassinet is set up on the opposite side from the glider and my little rolling caddy. And so just in case in the middle of the night, if I need to reach down and get something um, while we're all in bed, um, this is a basket for that. I got this basket several months ago at Home Goods. I just saw the animal print. I was like, yep, that's happening. Uh, so we have two uh, swaddles in here. I also deep down in here have a zip swaddle so she will probably have a swaddle on and then I'll have an extra swaddle in here just in case of blowouts or what have you. Um, I'm sure if she has a blowout we'll have to get out of bed and do stuff but either way nice to have it close by and not have to rummage through drawers or go too far. Um, these are extra bassinet sheets so if we need to change in the middle of the night we have stuff okay and then I think I mentioned or I might not have but these are some burp claws for middle of the night feedings if we can help not getting out of bed we'll do that so that is this organization video I hope it hasn't been too long I usually talk a lot so I'm just hoping that you know I cut it down a little bit but I hope you got some inspiration this is how we are set up for baby girl and I really feel like I found the appropriate space in our master bedroom to have everything that we need for her um, in at least in the beginning stages of this this postpartum journey if I am missing any links or if you saw something you like and you want to know where I got it from let me know down below in the comments I'd love to hear from from you I'd love to hear if I'm missing anything in my organizers or my caddies or my whatevers um, I am a first-time mama and so I'm I'm open to suggestions and tips if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button that really helps our channel so give us a thumbs up and subscribe stay tuned join the Lavin Glow family join the family of this YouTube channel I would love to have you we're going to be doing so much more mama videos and I'm just so excited for my little one to be here and to be able to share with you guys what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how this journey goes. It's a whole new world for me. <laughs> so um, yeah, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. I hope you are well and healthy. Bye.